2022 Absa Cape Epic showed us the biggest upset we've ever seen at the race and it was due to none other than George Egger and Lucas Baum. George is going to tell us a little bit about the bike that they're going to be using to take on the 2023 and defend their title. So George, tell us about the model you're going to be riding for 2023. Yeah, this year we got a new bike. Obea launched a new uh, OIS. So we are riding still with 120 millimeters in the front and in the back. We already did that last year, so it, which was quite uh, comfortable for us. And it's not a down country bike, it's a real XCO bike. We also do it in XCO racing or ride the same bike in the XCO races. Yeah, so um, for us the perfect choice. So a little bit about the suspension figure configuration. It's a, it's a single pivot and the flex happens in the chainstay or in the seat stay. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, um, sure. The, all the flex comes out of the uh, seat tray, only the damper and there are no more uh, bearings and anything. So you're, it's super stiff and uh, the, the power gets directly into motion forward there. Now, your office for the week is the cockpit, and we're looking over here at the cockpit. This is, uh, yeah. it looks like quite a wide bar. Tell us a little bit about the, uh, the width of the bar and about your controls for the week. Yeah, so we got a 700 millimeter bike ahead uh, bar. Also, the seat post is from bike ahead, but um, we are talking about that later. Uh, my stem is 120 millimeter, and Lucas' stem is uh, 100, so we are quite long for a marathon racer, and also quite uh, down or, or yeah, low down so I think it's about it's a, a custom stem and about 20 to 25 degrees so because it's really custom we never measured it but um, it's a perfect uh, position for us or did that stem for us and we're super happy with that and tell us about the controls the levers that you've got on those bars yeah we only got we got no dropper seat posts so there's only like um, the lockout we got two steps it's half closed and full closed and open for sure <laughs> and then yeah we run the Shimano brakes and Shimano uh, yeah shifting and everything and we got some uh, ceramic speed tuning on it which is pretty nice so it's super new for us as well it's the first race on the ceramic speed um, products and we are super happy about that it runs so smooth so what caught our eye were the wheels some unusual looking rims tell us a little bit about them yeah Bikehead is um, like a little uh, company uh, in Germany near Würzburg that's where I live and they do like cool project. They do uh, like also they engineer stuff for other companies and then do like yeah some bench breaking uh, or whatever like some new and cool stuff. And also the rim is a very cool one. So it's actually only 30 millimeter inner wide, like all the others are riding or most of the others. But um, the rim is getting wider and wider. And it looks wider than it is. So um, the the special thing about the safe wing is there's no hard edge. You, um, if you hit a rock, you don't uh, cut your tire completely. Normally, it stays safe, and the tire stays safe, and that gave us a lot of uh, yeah safety during the race. We only had one flat tire in the last epic, which is pretty good, I think. And I think that was also a, a sharp cut and nothing like a, no snake bite and anything. Yeah, no inserts insert in, inside, so it's not needed uh, for us. It's perfect without inserts, and if the tire is completely gone. We only put a tube in and put some something below that it's not the tube is not uh, going out, so super safe. So tell us a bit about how you're measuring the power that you're going to be putting out this week. Yeah, that's a, that's a mix uh, between the SRM, which tells us how much power, and uh, the Sigma Rocks, um, which tells us how much it really is or it displays it. Yeah. So talking about tires, tell us a little bit about the tire choice that you've picked this year. Yeah, we are going with the same uh, Schwalbe tires as last year. It's a racing Ralph, the super ground option, which gives you a bit more um, yeah, safety. There's like a shield everywhere around the tire. So um, the, the super race option has the shield only where the, where the profile is and the super ground is all around. And uh, I think for the Cape Epic, the most important thing is to stay safe and that the material stays uh, in one piece. So um, yeah. So we've talked about your cockpit. Let's talk about the seating area and uh, there's something special there too. Yeah, um, so Lucas and I, we both uh, like the, the setback and, and for us it's the perfect uh, position to be a bit further in the back than it's at the moment modern or, or cl the classy uh, XCO position is nothing good for us. So we got a setback uh, seat post. Lucas uh, topped it up and he even got a an, an, an custom made seat post from Bike Ahead. Um, yeah, I got a 15mm setback, Lucas 35, which is pretty much 
Um, yeah, and on top of it, uh, there's the Ergon uh, saddle, which we are feeling super comfortable on. It's um, not too hard, not too racy. It gives you a bit of uh, comfort and uh, super good from ergonomic side of uh, view. Yeah. Now you're going to need some spares along the way, just in case anything does in fact go wrong. You've taken all the precautions you can. So storage things like um, tubes and uh, links and uh, plugs. Where are you keeping all of that? Yeah, most of that is in the in the saddlebag. Um, there's a tube inside. There's some CO2 um, bombs or how do you call them <laughs> inside. And um, yeah, all the stuff we need to get um, super fast. Like for example, a mini tool. Normally we got in our uh, back pocket, and also the first uh, CO2 is in our back pocket. Then we are faster because it takes you a bit of time to remove the saddlebag. So George, the big question, the final question: How much do you think your bike weighs? Yeah, actually, I'm not too much into weight tuning, but uh, and I never weighted it before, actually. So, I think with all the back pocket stuff, uh, around uh, 10.6 something, 10.5. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, 10.8. But yeah, there's the saddle bag on, and it's almost race ready now. So. I think that's quite good.